So about six more days, seven more days, and it's maths exam January. By now you should be totally ready. You should be totally ready. And if you're not ready, stay tuned to the channel. We are about to go totally mental in the next four or five days in terms of live content. So stay tuned there. But in the meanwhile, let's look at this topic transposition. And we're looking specifically at subject of the formula. Now, in subject of the formula, you should know some tips first. This is a past paper question. We'll come back to this. But you should know some tips first. One is a foundational um, topic. If you mean, and if you do know how to do this, <laughs> you're in a bad state. You wouldn't be able to do much of mathematics. That's transposition. You must know how to um, send things across the equal sign. You must know how to do that. That is, that is like basics in maths. It's using solving equations, inequalities. Everywhere you would see this turning up. No numerical answer when you're just finding the subject of the formula. Though. Let me show you what I mean by that. Go the red ink, go the red ink. So if I have something like a plus 3 equal 5. Obviously, a is 2. You solve this by bringing across the 3. Everybody know how to do that. You get a 2 there, right? That's transposing there. But like if I have... A plus B equals C, and I say make A the subject of the formula. Earlier, um, people is always be trying to get an answer like they okay, they may do this step, but then they'll come and put an answer like four or something where you get a four from. This is the answer right here. So when you're finding the subject of the formula, it's perfectly okay to stop right here. Feel good about yourself there. If you start to go on here messing up your life, you're gonna to start to lose maths, right? A is not equal to four, we don't know what A is. It's okay to stop with variables when they ask you to find the subject of the formula. The next thing you need to know is, hold on, let me just X off all these things. Ta 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 ta. Uh, uh, right. So you must know how to expand directed numbers, factorizing all the little basic tenets of algebra. You should have your bearings about you where those are concerned. Um, different styles of questioning. What do I mean by that? So sometimes they'll ask you to find the subject of the formula, or sometimes they'll ask you to express, I think this question, the starting question, express u in terms of v, you see, like that. So this means make u the subject of the formula. That's what it mean there. So you need to know how to do that. And any more? Golden rule. Golden rule, obviously, when you're crossing the equal sign, when you're bringing letters meaning variables or constants and you bring in numbers numerical values across equal sign whatever operation there's doing on one side you switch the operation on the next side let me do the question given the formula s is equal to da, 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 that that's just raised to this half u plus v t now they said to make u the subject of the formula here this is where practice will come in because you could do this you could expand here multiply everything by a half and then multiply everything by t. But that kind of, that is, that is a little bit of back and all day. What you could do is divide, get rid of this half, right? This side is being divided by 2 because that's what a half means. This, this is, instead of this, I could think of this like over 2. That's what it means there. Um, so I can get rid of this and get rid of the t and then bring across the v. I wonder if you've seen what I mean. So, okay, I will put an instruction here, multiply by 2. Since this is divided by 2, or that's like a half, which means divided by 2, the instruction now is to multiply by 2. Let me come in the shot here a little bit. Right. So the next thing I'll have is 2. S is equal to U plus V by T. Where the, where the half gone? The half went on the next side. It'll come like I bring it up. So um, let me put it in red so you can be part of the team, bro. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is divide by t to get rid of that t, but I have to do it on both sides. So there, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, you catch that? So what we think of is like we're bringing it across. And you kind of get that feeling in your mind after you do a lot of it. You're bringing it across. Just remember, okay, multiplying, divide. Last but not least, get rid of this v. So you're going to get 2s over t minus v is equal to u. When you reach there, as I said, you can stop. Now... Uh, a better thing to do might be to write this, write this in another way, um, where we put the u first, and then put the two s t minus v. Yeah, it looking better that way, right? Because we re we read from left to right. So that is it for there. If you want some more, this was a actually a tricky question because people 
the number one instinct is to expand first, but it would have been better. It would have taken you wrong a longer, a longer road now, but it'll go down some tunnel and thing to come out there. So it was better to just divide and thing. If you have some more questions to practice, I can give you some right here. Try these questions, otherwise this troll here will bite you. <laughs> um, I might come spin back, take a little spin back in the comments and check the answers. For those of you all who watch the video down to the end and you all reach here, congratulations. I mean, you're serious. You're, you're a little serious about your exam and thing. Um, and you get the benefit of putting in the comments what topics you want me to do in maths. Before you ask me what topics you want to do, search my name and the topics on YouTube to make sure I don't have it done already and then ask me if you want some clarification or you want more information on a topic put it in the comments because we're going to do some things we're going to do things we're going to do things before this january exam in six seven days so um yeah or if you're doing additional subjects and you want some help in another subject you can put that in too blessings all you i hope you're getting serious uh happy new year most of you all will be watching this in new year i recorded this so on the last day of 2019, press like on the video.